In every election, millions of eligible voters don't bother to go to the polls, unless their hot button gets pushed. America has become a nation of godless sodomites. You tell them you're not going to be taken over by a group of Hispanic supremacists in La Raza. That's a nappy head at all, is there? I'm going to say that <laughs> New Orleans was a welfare city, a city of parasites. If the Ku Klux Klan thinks that, that equality is right, God bless them. These women, once they have procured an abortion, should be tried and convicted of first or second degree murder. Killing babies in America. You break into my country, you know what? I'm going to take your DNA and I'm going to put you on a plane and I'm going to send you to hell back to your freaking country. There's no linkage between the economy. Planned Parenthood in May around. Hot buttons, or wedge issues, are put in the form of a proposition or a ballot initiative. The purpose of the hot button is to keep you from noticing that you are losing your job, your house, and your civil rights. Oh, hey, oh, hey. We'll be looking at five of the very hottest buttons there are. Over 80% of American women are guilty of murder. Remember when the anti-abortion movement was all about the unborn child, the bloody fetuses, the accusatory language, the religious symbols? You may not have noticed, but the movement has been repackaged. I tried to commit suicide. I tried to numb my pain with alcohol. I struggled with depression. It's very sad to see the well-being of women used as a tool to decrease the well-being of women. But that's exactly what's happening in the new anti-choice attacks on reproductive rights. It's a seismic shift in strategy, a carefully calculated effort to convince the public that abortion irreparably harms women. There is no such official psychiatric diagnosis. In fact, both the American Psychological Association and the American Psychiatric Association, two giant mainstream scientific institutions, say there is no causal link. We are now the majority, Planned Parenthood. We the women who you have killed our children. This is Leslie Unruh. She runs a group called Vote Yes for Life. There's something new that's happening. There are less kids having sex than those that are. How does Leslie explain the first increase in teen pregnancies since 1991? She doesn't. Because Leslie created the Abstinence Clearinghouse an organization that promises purity and... We have a term that we call a secondary virginity or renewed virginity. Renewed virginity. Research tells us that over the past six years, the government has given multiple millions of tax dollars to hundreds of crisis pregnancies.